Hey guys, it's Ned, and welcome to another drawing video. So, the story behind this is that someone found some old art that I drew back in 2016 on a very old DeviantArt account. And I only use that DeviantArt account for like a month or so, if even that. Uh, I did not have graphics out yet. So I was actually just drawn on like lined paper and, and then taking a picture. <laughs> so the drawing on the right, I would hope obviously, <laughs> is um, the one from 2016, which was when I was like 14 years old. And I decided after taking a look at this old account and cringing horribly that I would redraw one. Uh, so I think. That, that, this was honestly a pretty interesting thing to draw because uh, I've never really done any kneeling pose before, especially one like this. So I, I found that pretty cool. And I'm quite happy with how I was able to get like, the legs to work properly now, I, now that I actually understand anatomy a hell of a lot better than I did when I was 14. This drawn is from Minecraft Story Mode. It's a telltale game where you pick you choices, you get to choose whether to do this or whether to do that, and your main character is Jesse, in, in that you can choose between your ethnicity, or your gender, and the one in the original drawing is the male Jesse. I'm pretty sure I did a female one as well. It's somewhere on the deviant art, which I'm not sure, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, lost the password and literally everything to it, so I can't take it down, but I am not sharing it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I chose Neil Jesse for that one. I am still in the um, story mode fandom. It's been a, a pretty big part of my life, so I'm still in it. And throughout the years, I've kind of gone a, li a little way away from just male Jesse and now a lot of time I draw a non-binary Jesse which is what I decided to do here. Uh, like because the fandom um, non-binary Jesse became very popular but when people realised that hey there's not an option for that so people started drawing it a lot and it's good for when you can't decide whether you want to use male Jesse or female Jesse. So yeah. Uh, this was also my first time properly drawing armour. Before this I had never really like, I've drawn on before, but not like this, not in this kind of detail or this kind of clunkiness. Uh, so I found that pretty interesting. In the end, it kind of turned it out like, I don't know, it reminds me of armor from like Black Ops or something. Yeah, like how, how like it's got the padding and the clunkiness. It was nice. I think, I think it turned out alright. I think, uh, looking back, I don't quite like how I did the face. I like how the hair is covering it, but I feel like I could have like done it a bit better, but so it doesn't. It looks a little weird. At least I think it does. But yeah, at least we actually have a proper face. <laughs> um, back in 2016, I was when I was drawing soil mold stuff. I, I would always make them as cubes, as you can see in the original drawing, because I don't know they're bulk cubes, and that was easy to draw. Um, as I've uh, gotten older and developed my art more, I've leaned away from that style like a ton. Because <laughs> um, it's like, it's not really fun to draw when you're drawing it a lot. Or at least you can't do a ton with it. Not necessarily anyone that does draw it like that, like it's completely valid, it's just personal preference. For the skin and the hair colours, as you might have seen, I have a template with all of the dressy faces with the skin tones and you can colour drop any of the hairstyles, the eye colours is very very useful. It's this online site that I can't remember who made it, but someone made it and it's really handy, it's super cool and uh, I will link that down below. Hopefully, if I remember, if I haven't remembered, um, say something. When it came to the design of the armor, 
I didn't like how the solid colors were turning out as you can see uh, so I decided to blend them in a bit more make them uh, fade in and fade out and I, I quite like how that looks it kind of reminds me of like obviously not a sunset because it's blue but it's something like that I kind of like how these dry knee pad things turned out um, I've never really drawn anything like that before and the designs were a simple but um, really I think they get the idea across that they're meant to be you know protective if that makes any sense at all and um, I, I, they were alright without the added colours that I'm putting in but uh, afterwards I, I really really like how they turned out uh, the the colours on the hands with the, like the on the gloves I mean I wish those I, I don't quite like those I kind of regret blowing those like that I wish I'd blood them either less or more I can't really decide they're, they're okay the way they are it's not the end of the world when it came to like actually writing the choose bit I wanted to make it a lot more intimidating a lot more like bearing down on you than it had in the original so that's why the letters are bigger they're more kind of wild I took away the, the dot 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 bit um, I want it to be like kind of yelling at you like it's kind of like how in the games on Telltale you have a timer you have to choose in a certain amount of time otherwise you lose that choice and I wanted to kind of emphasize that through having it be a down your through having it be this big massive thing and it's it, it came off a lot more stressful in this one for Jesse it, it, I think it emphasized the idea a lot better than it did in the original especially with the red glow and the shading it just it just came off a lot better than the original I'd hope it would considering it's been so long um, <laughs> When it actually came down to the shading, I've never, I'm not incredibly experienced with shading. I can do a basic shading and I can have a play a bit more complex shading, but when the light is coming from directly behind you, I'm not 100% sure on that, so, but I did my best. Um, here they are side by side. I am very happy with this, honestly. I really, really like how it came out. And yeah so that was me rambling i hope you guys enjoyed uh, i put off making this for so so long but here it is i've got a fancy new end card a fancy new intro i hope you liked and uh remember to recycle bye